All right, baby. Last warm up. This is where we earn it. 365. You know, and I have an idea of how it has to move for me to achieve 400. And that is easy. It must move easy. Like a warm up should. Come on, ah, Come on! Hey. Come on. This is yours. This is nothing, baby. This is nothing, baby. You ain't shit. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! 400! Let's get it! Hey guys, and welcome back to your mum's favourite channel on YouTube, Cult Strength. Today is a very, very special day. Today is my final heavy deadlift session before competition, uh, before Pro Raw. I am about two and a half weeks out, <clears throat> just over, yeah, about two and a half weeks out. And, you know, I woke up this morning and I was like, it's a good day. It's a good day to pull 400 kilos. So that's the plan for today. We're just gonna fucking send it. I haven't sent it on any deadlift session yet. Uh, all my numbers have been pretty, pretty achievable in the sense that it's, they've been pretty safe bets. I haven't had any sessions this prep where I've just gone, fuck it, we are committing to this 100%. It's happening, let's go. And that's kind of got to be the mentality with 400 kilos. You know, I've pulled it maybe three or four times before. My PB is 410, but I'll be honest, the fact that I'm back here about to attempt it again uh, is big for me. You know, there was a time not that long ago where I kind of thought that uh, that might be behind me now. I had a few injuries, some health issues, and uh, it's been a little bit of a, a tricky, you know, 12 to 18 months, let's say. Uh, but, you know, I uh, pulled myself together and told myself to stop carrying on like a dickhead and just get back to work. And that's what I've been doing now for about the last four months. Been working really hard and uh, <clears throat> I have earned the right to pull 400 kilos today. So that's what's going to happen. I'm very excited for it. Uh, and also, you may not know this just by looking at me, but I am actually freshly shaven. Freshly shaven. I'm sorry if you thought something else. I don't actually uh, shave down there completely because I like to look like a man still. Um, so yeah, freshly shaven. A bit more aerodynamic, I think. I think it's going to give me the potential to definitely smoke that 400 kilos today. Alternatively, um, you know, this is kind of a religious look with the beard. Uh, so maybe um, one of these gods out there may look down and mistake me for one of his own uh, and bless me with the ability to pull 400 kilos today. So that's kind of the backup. So I've got two things going for me today, plus obviously the fact that I'm big jacked and sexy. But it's gonna uh, it's gonna be time to warm up now. We'll uh, we'll chat in a second. I'm fucking excited though. Hope you're excited. You better fucking hang around. And before we go, make sure that you have liked this video because you know I'm going to pull 400 kilos. Uh, make sure you're subscribed because I pulled 400 kilos and drop a comment telling me how good I am. I appreciate it. Let's go. All right, baby. So just done my activations, a couple of warm ups, uh, 70 kilos on the bar now. So I'm going to do a, do a set here. And today, the last warm up uh, will be 365 kilos, which is just over 800 pounds. Pretty heavy last warm up. It's pretty cool. But no one really cares because the end product is obviously why we're here today. We want 400 kilos. You know, it'll be hard, but I want to smoke it still. You know, I have done it before. Um, it's nothing new, nothing crazy. You know, I know that I'm more than capable of doing it. And as I said, I've definitely earned the right to this number uh, in the last 12, 16 weeks. There's been times I've pulled 400 that I really didn't deserve it, especially the first time. The first time I pulled 400 kilos was in Las Vegas. Uh, it was three days after, what meet was it? Boss of Bosses three or four, uh, which is in San Diego, uh, at Dan Green's gym. Uh, if you're a power lifter, you've been in the game long enough, you will know who Dan Green is. Uh, one of the greatest of all time. Anyway, I went to the comp there and the comp didn't go so well. Um, and then, you know, road trip the next day, a couple days on the piss in Las Vegas. And then uh, 
I caught word of a session going down at CT Fletcher's gym and got there playing to do a bit of bench press and what do you know there's some big dogs there doing deadlifts talking you know, half Thor so Thor the world's strongest man Nick Best strongest man competitor Brandon Allen Larry Wheels uh, and a few other guys Stan Efforting uh, and we uh, and we had a fucking we had a fucking party and I pulled 400 kilos for the first time didn't deserve it but the atmosphere made it impossible to miss anyway fun story now we get to do some work we got some actual work to fucking do today, baby. Let's get it. 70 kilos on the bar. Each warm up is going to be fucking perfect today. We're going to be on fucking fire. It's weird that this thing was 70 kilos because it's like holding on to nothing. We'll go 120 next and we'll get the shit out of that as well. Let's go. Alright, now uh, today I'm whipping out uh, the special plates. So these are the plates you bring out when you have um, your guests over for a nice dinner or when you're deadlifting 400 kilos. You'll see here big black 50 kilo calibrated plates from Goliath. Uh, the same plates that I use normally, uh, but they uh, made some nice big 50 kilo ones, which are pretty cool. And I've got a fair few of those, so I'm going to use them today. Um, and also, last set I didn't put a collar on, so there's only 70 kilos, but I've shut collars on, so the extra 5 kilos, so this will be 125. We'll do 3 reps here, and we'll move on and start hitting singles. But we'll get this done now. Let's go, baby. Easy work. That's uh, lovely. Just checking now, really, 50s and they went fives. 175 next, let's go. All right, baby, we've got 175 on the bar now. I'm gonna put my belt on and uh, hit this for a fucking single. We'll smoke it. Uh, you can see 50 kilo jumps. It'll be 50 kilo jumps up until 325 today. And then we'll go 365 to 400 and smoke that shit. But now, whew, let's go. One rep. That's disrespectful, isn't it? Just be grateful it's not your mother. Let's go. All right, gang. 225 kilos on the bar. Hitting singles still, baby. We're smoking this shit. I'm feeling good. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> Easy, motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck you. Alright baby, 275 on the bar, still warming up, you know I approach every set with intent, hit it as hard as I can, but I'm also not getting G'd up for it right, we don't want to waste energy needlessly, we only have so much of that kind of energy in our body, we have to kind of save it, you know, for the fucking main event. Um, the one thing that I've kind of been thinking about doing now, the idea came to me a little while ago, uh, it's like, obviously I, I, I offer you these videos, uh, some of the videos I'm giving you advice and tips, things like that. Uh, I have my Patreon, which is geared towards, obviously, the other side, mentality and mindset. 
um, and those sorts of things, right? But, you know, I wanted to offer something along the lines of a virtual coaching system. Now, I have online coaching, but this would be a little bit different in the sense that it would be like an online personal training session. So whether you have access to your own gym and we can set up a live call and I can critique you and coach you in real time, or you can also use that time to obviously have a phone call with me, a FaceTime conversation where you can send me videos of your lifting and I can critique them for you on the spot and, and help you with your technique. Uh, that's an option I'm gonna be bringing to the table very soon. So I just wanted to drop that. Uh, and while we're here, if you haven't checked it out yet, Cold Strength Patreon, if you like the channel, you wanna support me, support what I do, uh, the best way is to head there and subscribe to the Disciple tier. And I'll drop a link. But now, back to work. That's the uh, last deep and meaningful conversation we're gonna have, I think, until we get the 400 kilos. So you're welcome. Whew. All right. Ah, 275, baby. Let's go. Easy work. If you're lucky, after this, I'll take my shirt off. Whoo! <sighs> Ain't nothing, baby. We got nothing. Smoke it. Hello! Hello. <sighs> <sighs> ah, fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah, that's what's up, baby. That feels good. 325 next. Come on, motherfucker. All right, motherfuckers. 325 on the bar. Second last warm up. And you know we're gonna fucking make a move like one. Ain't no respect, baby. Ooh. Switch the fuck on now, baby. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. Let's fucking go. All right, baby. Last warm up. This is where we fucking earn it. 365, you know, and I have an idea of how it has to move for me to achieve 400, and that is easy. It must move fucking easy. Like a fucking warm up should. Come on, motherfucker! Ah! Come on! Hey! Come on! This is fucking yours. This is nothing, baby. This is nothing, baby. Last warm up. You ain't shit, motherfucker. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! 400, motherfucker, let's get it! All right, baby, so last warm up, 365 kilos. Um, it moved very comfortably, just as it should on a 400 kilo day. So I've loaded 400 kilos on the bar. It's been a long time, my friend. Um, just so you guys know, so you're not fucking going, this not 400 kilos. We have three 50 kilo plates each side, and we have two 20 kilo plates each side, and a 20 kilo bar. That is 400 kilograms. <sighs> I'm gonna take a minute, a couple minutes maybe, and get in this head of mine and come and fucking smoke this. I can see it, I can feel it, baby. Let's get it. Ooh. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. 400 kilos, motherfucker. It's time to party. Come on. come on, baby. You're moving today. You're moving today. Let's go! Ha! Fuck you. You ain't shit! Come on! Go! 
Come on, baby. It wasn't super clean, but hey, it's training. It wasn't too bad, and we got that fucker locked out. I'm gonna take it for today. I'm gonna take it, because it only really counts on the platform anyway, baby. Let's get it. Whew. All right, baby. So, 400, that's a fucking success, man. As I said, I really didn't know if I'd ever pull that again. And here I am, just over two weeks out of comp. And, you know, I'm pretty critical of myself, right? But I watched the video back, and it's on me. I need to invest in some better fucking clips, because they fucking shifted. As soon as I went to yank on the bar and take the slack, all the plates shifted. And again, you can see as I go to pull from the floor, like sideways lateral movement of the plates in the bar, which shifts my body. I don't know how I managed to actually save it, to be honest with you, that's 400 kilos and it was gonna go to shit and I saved it. It wasn't super clean at lockout, it got a bit out of position around the knees, but somehow stuck it through and got it done. So I'm really happy with that. But I gotta do one more set. This set's gonna be hard, it's 360 on the bar, no straps again, just to get a bit of grip work in before competition. But the 400 kilos is gonna take it out of me. It has taken out of me a little bit. It's still 400 fucking kilos. You can't pull that and not be affected. But it's gonna be a challenge. Even if I just get one rep with a bit of a hold at the top, it doesn't have to be two. The first one feels good. I might go for a second one, but this is the uh, last big set of prep, so I'm gonna commit to this, baby. Let's go. Come on! Easy, baby. That's how we do it. It was heavy. I am fatigued, but grip's holding up real nice, and that is all I care about with that set. So I'm gonna do some RDLs now, just to get a bit of volume through uh, and a bit more grip work. But that's been a fucking great success. Do you reckon it's because I'm fully shaved? Maybe. Maybe not. The God, they recognised you. They did. They're like. There's that sexy motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's what your mum thinks about me too. Let's go. Whew. All right, gang, we're gonna round this uh, deadlifting out now with two sets of five RDLs. 20 kilos up from last week. We've got 260 on the bar now. Uh, nothing fancy. Just uh, putting in that work still. You know, it'd be really easy after I hit that 400 kilo deadlift. Uh, to do nothing else because it's 400 kilos and it's kind of taxing and takes a lot of it's a, it's a big fucking adrenaline dump when you get there right so you head back in the game you back down set in you still got more to go because as i said on the platform is where it counts so as happy as i am this is all just in aid of setting me up for a big total uh, my training total at the moment is 1020 kilos now after that deadlift so that's a training total, it's not a competition total, although my PR is bigger than that. That's what she, he said or she said, it really depends. But uh, for this training cycle, 1,020 in the gym is, that, is what that means. So I think that I could definitely probably put 1,020 together on the platform um, if I have to, especially, right? Because you know, if there's someone that's placing just above me, you know I'm not gonna sit there and be conservative, I'm gonna send it a little bit. But we'll get this done, but make sure you have subscribe to my page if you haven't yet I really appreciate it you know I want to get this channel to grow you know I do this a lot this takes a lot of my time editing training and it's hard you know what I'm saying like it is what it is I choose to do this um, and I do hope you guys get something useful from it find some value in it because uh, I do love making this stuff and the more of you guys that watch and share and support uh, the more I can make because this is what I want to fucking do from now on baby you know what I'm saying We'll get this done. First set, 
Let's go. That's feeling heavy. I'm fucked. One more set. All right, baby, so we're in our last set of deadlifts, one more set of RDLs. In a fantastic session, as I said, two and a half weeks out of competition, just over two and a half weeks. I still have some training to do this Saturday, a heavy bench press session, the top double. And the goal will be more than 230 kilos uh, for two reps on bench press. And then a week after that, I got my final heavy bench, which the goal will be 250 kilos in training um, a week out of competition. I would like to do one more squat session still. Obviously, I tore my adductor two weeks ago, uh, but I think in a week's time from now, probably about 10 days out of comp, I will attempt um, to get a little bit of squatting in, hopefully over 320, 330 kilos. Ideally, mid threes would be nice, maybe for a couple of reps, just for a confidence booster you know, going into comp, because I think that it'd be nice to have the confidence knowing that I could squat more than 380 if needed, uh, maybe 390, 400. That would be really nice, right? And set me up for a big total because, you know, I'm going down there to cause some fucking problems. You know, I'm not just a fucking passenger. I'm not just going to tag along and fucking play nice. Like, that's not me. I've been out of the game for a while, but uh, it's time to remind people you know, who the fuck I am because I've been in this sport for a long time and uh, I'm not done yet. I'm reinvigorated, I have more goals, I have new goals, I have bigger goals, and I'm a bigger, stronger fucking person now than I was three years ago. I look at myself back then, and if that motherfucker totaled 1,050, well, this motherfucker is gonna put that to shame. Anyway, one more set of these, let's go. Dig in, motherfucker, come on. Fucking done. That is, whew, 260 feels like 360. That's how you know you're fucked. But that's a good shift today. I'm gonna do a bit more squat rehab now and some back work, I think. But that's the deadlifting done. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. You know what to do. Go to the fucking gym.